Hello everybody, SC Knuckles here coming at you with a look back at the decade. Last vlog I did for you guys was my annual Christmas update video. Seems like a couple people didn't like what I said in that and hey, everybody has their opinion. But now I just wanted to look back at the decade since I'll be approaching 10 years of uh, actually doing Let's Plays on this channel and well, just to summarize how um, the 2010 through 2019 has been, with 2019 coming to an end soon. Also, the hat looks a little bit uh, weird. It's my Mega Mawile hat. It's everywhere. It's everywhere, I mean. <laughs> so what can I say about how this past 10 years has been? I can say a whole lot of how 2010 has been 2000 and 2019 2000 this whole decade has just been a whole self-aware year decade I would feel like as I pretty much have been going through this whole decade just figuring out more and more of myself and just how things have uh, been for me I'll start with year by year. As you all know, 2010 was when I uh, came into the Let's Play world. And um, even though I've had my um, original channel since 2006, all I was doing was uh, countdowns and montages and a lot of other things that weren't Let's Play stuff. It wasn't until I did Metroid Prime, the very first one, as my very first Let's Play. But unfortunately, those that video series is gone. I attempted to do a second playthrough years later, but never finished it, so there may be a time I will do the original Metroid Prime, or just Metroid Prime, just as a callback to be like, here's the first Let's Play I did, let's do this game again. And 2010 was a very good year in itself as well, I mean, that's when I um, got a two-year degree from uh, college, that's what that uh, thing up there is, that white... Um, yeah, we all see up there. Yeah, right there. <laughs> That's what that is. And then um, spent a lot of work on that. I mean, college was uh, something there. And I didn't want to continue on because at that point I was just really, really tired of school. I was just tired of it. I think I didn't want to just learn anything anymore. And I was just done with it in general. And that's why I just decided now I'm going to start looking for a job at that point, and that's when the hunt began. Well, and behold, I didn't know it would be such a long journey. 2011 was just an extension of that since I was still looking around for a job and only getting like one interview and still didn't get it. I won't say where, but um, I didn't get that one, and as far as the channel is concerned, um, I pretty much uh, started doing more streaming at that point. I think that's when I did my old uh, Farming Fridays from Borderlands 2 series, as well as my Road to Gold with all the Call of Duty stuff I did. And then it was just a good time. That's when I really dove into um, devoting more to YouTube and Twitch. I, I felt like... Um, it was growing more from there and uh, I felt like that was like the bright great times just to uh, do more work on here and I was just pretty much more focused on it and hopefully just still trying to get work I mean like I said that didn't happen for a bit nothing else really happened in 2011 I mean nothing personal or monumental or anything in the family wise although I was trying to um, look back and see at um, there was a um, crucial time that some events happened I just wanted to see where that happened if I still have it I don't think I do Probably not, <laughs> but uh, I don't think I have it. 
I don't know if it's um, archived or anything, but um, I do remember um, one year. It's is when it started to happen when I started um, getting increasingly jealous about um, a family member bringing in an additional one relationship wise I think it happened there because it's the years later when it happens but my grandmother was still alive at the time and that was a very important grandparent to me that I just wanted to see I wanted her to see me grow and at least bring an addition to my life and the fact that I at that time I felt like I'm the oldest one of the cousins it should be my turn to do it and I, I just got cut in front of and I remember getting mad about it and posting it on Facebook and oh boy did that start an outcry I did apologize later on and I never never came across that person again that some that's a uh, on that person's story but yeah that's all that pretty much happened there 2012 well I guess nothing really changed for me personally same thing was happening still only got one interview didn't get it channel was still growing the only sadness I remember suffering in 2012 was my um grandpa dying to a stroke he had a stroke one time one day and then two weeks later it slowly dwindled him down I mean and I just couldn't I was just so upset about it because that's my grandpa the last one I had but I do have a good memory with it in terms of what I was doing the last time I was there I mean, he died six days after my last visit to him when he was in a, a hospice care. I remember um, I did an LP of it, Link's Awakening. I was playing it for the very first time the whole day I was there. Luckily, no one was like angry, like, why is he on this game so much? I was just doing something to pass the time. I'm there, and I beat the game for the first time. Not 100%, but I didn't die, so I got the special ending. So now... I feel like every time I hear the Ballad of the Windfish, I think of him because that's like a good memory I have with the game. I do have my old LP. It will come back at some point on Twitch, and uh, you'll you'll hear my whole tribute to that LP to him, even though he never knew about me doing that stuff on YouTube in the first place. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and also uh, months later, unfortunately, that's when my um, grandmother beat came um, diagnosed with cancer months later and I had to give up doing We Fit a lot because prior years I was doing that a lot and I had gotten like into 170 and now look at me I'm like 50 pounds more than that I mean yeah, well it is what it is family comes first and everything but yeah 2012 was sort of downfall and, and Worse, and it got worse when I remember now with me still trying to find work I was getting pestered a lot like are you trying are you even even trying what are you doing and I put up a post to the family just saying stop asking me about it and apparently my brother thought that was a call for help and took me outside to talk and I'm thinking to myself it was not a call for help it's just direct and straight and to the point what I said stop I am doing it it's not like I'm not doing anything I'm actually putting effort into it and that's what I remember about that 2013 it slowly started to wear off a bit my grandmother was still going through all the um, chemos and everything to get rid of to try and get rid of the cancer and she was staying with us at the time and it wasn't until August of that year when I finally landed my job. And uh, that's when that whole world started. And of course, my grandmother did meet another addition to the family from 
cousin who was had somebody who, who still has that one person and while the jealousy was less it almost looked like it was increasing and I was trying to fight it and fight it and fight it and uh, that would be a long long encounter of trying to deal with it throughout the times I will say these days it's a lot better but let me just continue on with the story 2014 well, YouTube and Twitch-wise from 2013 to 14, nothing really changed. I was still doing the same old things. Life-wise, still working hard, still getting the money, still doing really well. And as I stated in a vlog back in July, that's when my grandmother succumbed to the cancer and passed away, July 3rd, 2014. My last grandparent. I'm going to take this off because it's getting heavy. But hey, I do love my wow. So I'm going to put on a different hat. I'm going to put on my favorite uh, Evolution hats. I know some people may not like this one, but it's my favorite one. It's the shiny Sylveon hat. I like it. But um, yeah, 2014 was when my grandmother passed. And it was just a bone-crushing loss because that's my final grandparent. I now no longer have any grandparents left. And it's just heartbreaking for me. But the next month after that was when I got my first car, my 2005 Ford Mustang that I still have to this day. Fully paid for and all I'm paying for are repairs. Ooh. Okay, but... That was pretty much the successful story there, and I um I want to say I don't. Every Christmas we would always have it at my grandmother's house, but with her passing, I don't remember if that was the final Christmas we had there. It was such a devastating loss because we always celebrated Thanksgiving and Christmas with the family but we decided to give up on Thanksgiving and just keep Christmas together even though that just eliminates a lot of hangout time with the family and don't get me wrong I love the family nowadays than I did before like there was because I always felt like um with her passing, I've always felt like things changed for the worse. Like, um, it's like if she was like a uh, tying a shoe in a knot. And I felt like with her passing, that uh, shoe came untied. And we just weren't close anymore. That's just how I felt. And, and I still feel that way to this day. Mm. But. I think there is still growing that that's trying to bring us together because I don't want any drifting apart or anything I want things to just be good that's pretty much it and with the loss it took a heavy hit to everyone 2015, we were just still recovering from it. Nothing really changed in terms of Twitch and, let's, and YouTube for me. It felt the same, though I was streaming a little bit less now with work and everything. It was getting a lot more hectic then. I think it was slow at some point, but work is still work and everything. Family-wise... Uh, I can't remember much about 2015 to be exact. I think that's when I started going to conventions. And I think I remember one time my other cousin had somebody and I was going to a QuakeCon in Dallas. I did my best to avoid him because I didn't want to meet that person then because 
I was just like, well, I'm, I felt like I was in a world left behind. Like everyone's getting someone and I'm still here in my own little cubicle by myself. And uh, I believe that's when I also went to Pack South for the first time, I think. I know I've been once myself. I think I've been twice before. Uh, I want to say 2015 was it. Because, let me say, 2000. Yeah, I want to say 2015 was the first time I went by myself. I believe, because. Yeah, 2019. Okay, was it there? 2018. 2017. 2016. Yeah, 2015 was when I went for the first time, and it was a very good time. And at that point, I was still so hyped about the game Freedom Planet, and I had met the creators and everything. And um, that was ideally the best time. And at that point, I even asked them since. At the, they were announced uh, Freedom Planet 2 at that point. I asked if I could record each of them as like an intro for an, when I do an LP of Freedom Planet 2. Well, I had asked them the last day of the convention, and they just didn't have time for it. They, they said, if you had asked us this earlier, we probably would have. Remember that note. 2016, um, things getting better, things continuing want to say that's when my whole acceptance thing was also getting a little routed at points too I did feel like um, things were getting rowdy with my whole acceptance thing and um, yeah and then that year of um, PAX South I went to I came across the guys again and when I asked them about it mostly the voice actresses they told me, and I asked them that before last year but this but that even in 2016 when I asked them they said we can't do it it's not press I'm thinking to myself last year they told me they didn't have time for it now they're telling me they can't do it because it's not press what kind of bullshit excuse is that YouTube is press and I see people just talking to them all the time and getting recordings and I'm like okay what the hell so they just flat out told me something this, and that's just the voice actors actors doing that and I'm like well then apparently something low quality they won't do goes to show at that point, that's when I started just dwindling away from Freedom Planet, and I haven't touched the game since. I was just so disheartened by that, because one year you tell me you can't do it because you don't have time, and now you're telling me this? Wow. What a bold face lie you had to do to me. And, um... Family-wise, nothing really changed anything. It's just that we... It was getting worse and worse, as I said, without my grandmother. At least I felt that way. And it's just, um... The loss of, that we had to deal with her is still lingers on, but... Oh, well. 2017. I think you guys know what went down for me that whole entire time. Oh yeah, and I remember 2016, it's when I got into an accident with my car. What happened was, there's a curb, there's a little bit of a turn after a curb, like underneath the left turn light. I mistook that turn too early, and the driver's side tires went over that, and I pretty much damaged my tire rims and rods and everything. Ooh, that was a horrible time. Hopefully that's repaired, though. Moving on to 2017, as I said, worst year of my life, with one exception. I turned 30 that year, and during that whole time I was talking to somebody on Snapchat, and it looked like we were getting close and close, like we were talking about when to get together and everything. You know, our status had never officially changed or anything, and it wasn't until June 
when I see an Instagram and Facebook post of some guy kissing her and pretty much just flat out changed her status there and I'm like okay she didn't even tell me this and I just confronted her and she said yep I'm with someone now didn't tell me and she thought well it would have been years if we had met didn't talk to me about this and completely ignored everything else I said after that goes to show ugh a lot of other women I talked to before that just gave up on me, stopped talking to me, didn't even say anything. Another one was a little bit distant from me because of their negative attitude. They said it's no negativity, it's realistic. Same thing. Um, and um, when I told that person, just be honest with me, and honestly said, I'm seeing someone else. To be honest, not stupid. The only thing that really kept me, and uh, that's when I also got my uh, first speeding ticket at work of all places, and a customer didn't want to see me anymore because of a false accusation of sp speeding in a parking lot. I say false accusation because I was not asked, they just assumed I did. And, um,. Yeah, that still lingers on me. I'm like, I just can't stand the fact that I hate it now from someone. And, um, only good thing about 2017 was, um, the Astros winning the World Series. I know today there's, like, a little scandal with them. I don't believe it. But that was definitely a good moment to see them win. Oof. Family-wise, nothing really changed. It was just all the same from last time. 2018. Did anything really change in that year? I think um, work was fine. Life was fine. YouTube and Twitch were fine. Oh well, yeah, 2017 I lost the channel and I'm rebuilding. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing that. But hey, that that's what happened that year and I'm still building up to this day. 2018, nothing really happened then. Just keep on rebuilding. Twitch was getting less and less. And that's why I think I started doing Stream Week. I think I did it the year before. No, I think 2018 was the debut of it. Yeah, I think that's when I did a week of twitching. Week of, tw week of twitching. Yeah, week of twitching. <laughs> Not that kind of twitching. Streaming. And um, decided to just make that a little thing I would do every year for a week. Family-wise, nothing really changed, although I think it was also 2017 with that new addition and my cousin brought things got heated and that's why I said that whole acceptance thing of not saying hello did um, affect 2018. It slowly got better. In 2019, I will say things are cool now. I think 2019, guys, has sort of been an eye-opener year. As you know, 2018, I also had a little problem with the that Discord game group. I've looked past that now. I'm in a great one now in 2019. As I said in the updates, much of that still applies. And with the recent uh, Christmas party I just came from the family, I honestly have to say this is probably the best one I felt I had since my grandmother's passing. I say that because probably because things have never been so better. And with uh, not only did my cousin have an addition but my other cousin had an addition and I'm thinking to myself okay now I have to deal with the fact that I'm the only one not bringing an addition. Of the cousins that is. I felt, thought it was I was going to be so angry about it and not want to hang out with them or anything. But no. I'm actually impressed with myself that I didn't do anything stupid. And I'm like, really? I guess this means I'm accepting of everything. 
not only am I having this whole feeling accepted thing, but I'm accepting a lot of things. I'm just dealing with it. I'm no longer uncomfortable. And we had a great time, too. Oh my gosh. It's Christmases like these that I love to have. And that's just what I want to keep having for years and years. And the day I bring somebody into the mix, I want it to be just about as good as it was this year. 2019, guys, family-wise, the best it's ever been. And this is going up on Facebook, and that's what I want to keep having. Good moments like that. I don't want them to go. And for YouTube, guys, I'm still going. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with 2020. There are some new things I want to do personally, not just YouTube-wise. The ideas are there. It's just now the determination and motivation and devotion to doing it. Sometimes I lack that of myself and, you know, maybe it just takes a lot of good things for you to realize there's a lot of things you can do you just gotta persuade yourself to do it and that's what I like to do I like to persuade myself to do it others coming from others just feels force upon I think 2020 to 2029 I'm gonna try and make this the best decade I feel. I'll be turning 33 come February of 2020. I'll be 43 at the end of it. Oh boy. Anyway, guys, that's another little bit of a vlog. The summarization of the 2010 to 2019 personal decade vlog. I look forward to continuing on, and I just. Really want to keep on giving you stuff to enjoy and just keep being me because that's all I can really ask for. Thank you guys so much for listening. As I stated in the Christmas update, have yourself a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. You know the criteria. Leave good comments, subscribe if you haven't, leave a like, follow me on Twitch. And until next time, I'm SC Knuckles, and I will see y'all in my Let's Plays. And remember, you are loved.